Hi everybody, here's Christian and this is Pico 8 Hero. And this is our um, breakout clone. Um, I've been recording a lot of those tutorials in a row now. So I'm gonna have to look what our current thing is today. All right. Oh yeah, I remember now. So we wanted to do combos. And that's gonna be pretty simple today. I don't think it's gonna be very difficult. Probably um, if you have been playing attention, uh, playing attention, paying attention, you should probably know how to pull off the combos. The idea is that you get better, um, more points, uh, the more bricks you hit in between ha you having to put the pedal up. So if you manage to get the ball some lodged somewhere and jumping around, uh, around on brick bricks, you will get more and more points for this. So I would suggest, like if you're listening to this and you, you are new to programming, I would suggest you try this out yourself and then you maybe you look at this, at this tutorial to see if my solution was similar than yours or maybe it was different, maybe yours was better. Uh, in that case, I want to see it. Right. All right, so let us do combos. Uh, first of all, I wanted to tweak the sound effects. So this is the sound effect um, that we currently have. Let me, you can switch between um, note mode and not no mode note, not mode mode, and a regular note. So here I wanted to maybe uh, change into C's with a Q. There's like, like a keyboard in this mode. Whereas like Q is the C and then W, E, R, T, Y and stuff like that. You, it's kind of like a piano keyboard. And then the number keys above it are the black keys. Uh, and the Q, R, Q, W, E, R are the, the white keys. So I'm gonna just place, uh, place C here. Uh, so that's actually not good. Oh uh, yeah, because I wanted to have it in a higher octave. I think this is the four here. Let's try this. Okay, that sounds good. So this is going to be our first hit, the C. And I want to maybe go down here. Let me preserve the... Um, I like this, when you go down before before the sound, one note goes, goes maybe we can put it up to speed two. See, this sound, this C seems better. Maybe uh, one note shorter in total. Let me... Ah, that's, that's good. That seems more like a click kind of sound. I'm trying to tweak the sound a little bit because I don't like the how it sounded now. See, it's, it feels more like an impact. Uh, can I... Like this. Let's try this as a sound effect. And then you can uh, control copy, copy the sound effect and control V, paste it in. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just increase by a note, everything by, or by two pixels, I guess. And I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it in again and increase by two pixels. I'm not sure if we can do this by code, but I'm just going to do it right like this. You can copy, paste. Oops. So you can see that the the tone uh, when you hit a brick uh, throughout the combo will get higher and higher. So you feel like the do 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 do, you know. So you will feel like yeah, you actually it actually feels um, in uh, interesting, you know, like this. Um, not not interesting. Maybe it feels um, like you're like you're winning, <laughs> like you're owning, like you're owning bones. Um, so this is a technique um, or this is an effect I really like from a game called Puyo Pop, also sometimes known as Mr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. 
uh, it has a similar thing where there's like a combo that you go, that goes off and there's like these things that the characters say and like a chime um that that play as as you as you fire off all those combos and they're they're very fun to to listen to okay so i think we are at the at the at the maximum now okay so just just by the de uh, design we have like one two three four five six seven seven is the maximum combo meter i'm guessing the maximum multiplier um Okay. Um, right. So now we need to let's 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 put it a chain. Uh, let's create a chain variable, and we're gonna start at chain one. It's the chain multiplier, so to speak. Uh, combo chain multiplier. Plier. And the idea is that when we hit a brick, so let's go where we hit a brick. Um, this is where we, where we hit it. Deal with collision of the brick. Um, so we go, after we hit the brick, we go chain plus equals one. We add one to our chain. And also here, where we're at the points, I'm going to go 10 times chain. So uh, if the chain gets um, gets to two, you get twice the amount of points, and if it gets to three, you get three amounts of points. And then additionally, I want to reset the chain when uh, the pad gets hit. That's here. Um, it's generally here. Deal with a collision. So I'm going to do it right away here. I'm going to go chain equals zero. Or actually, no. Let's do it down there because we're where we actually play the sound effects, so it's it's consistent. Chain equals one back back to one. And also, I'm going to delete the the points that, that you get from hitting the ball with a um, with a pad um, because we had it previously. I think that was good previously because it was like introduced kind of some kind of game mechanic. But if you think about this, it doesn't really make sense. Actually, the chain also belongs here as well. In the serve ball function, we also have to re reset the chain. Um, so I don't want to give points for hitting the ball because technically the game should be more difficult. It should be more difficult to clear a board with less, with in less time, in shorter amount of time. And it shouldn't. You shouldn't get rewarded for prolonging the game. You should be like really efficient. And so um, you shouldn't give points for hitting, for prolonging the game. You should uh, you should get more points when you hit less. So actually, you should even subtract points, perhaps. Um, but I think we can do this later on when we when we maybe add some time uh, restriction. Let's see about that. Good. Um, so now everything is good, except we don't we don't get the sound effects. The sound effects are not not there yet. So let me see. Um, yeah, right. Chain uh, plus one, and then I want to, of course, um, I want to go chain equals mid. So I want to make sure that the chain is between one and seven. We said was the maximum, right? So one chain seven. Again, this is the mid trick. Mid picks uh, takes three numbers and picks the one that is the middle number, and that is an easy way to make sure that a number stays between two values. So the maximum is seven. And then SFX, uh, let's go two plus chain. So because chain starts at one. And so that means the first sound effect is three. And so the maximum ch that chain is gonna be is gonna be seven. Let's try this. Let's make sure that this is the right sound effect. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven is gonna be the last one. That's gonna be the sound effect number nine. Good. That should be actually it. One last thing I wanted to do is I want to actually print the chain. Um, so
so we know what's going on. Uh, maybe we're going to change this later on, but so right now I just want to see uh, what is the current chain. Let's let go like this. And just to be sure, let's put an X behind it. Oops, uh, a little bit too too um, too far to the left. We're gonna have to go further down. To the, let's go like this. Better. I think it needs to be shorter. Long, I think it's a bit too complicated. Hmm. Ah. Okay, let's try to put it in this corner. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it be it's becoming a real game. I love it. Ah, nice. Uh, I don't think this will work. Ah! Okay, last life. Can we shoot it in there somehow? Haha, <laughs> that was a six chain. Okay, I like it. Uh, only thing I want to do is maybe I, I, don't, I don't quite like the sound effect. I'm, I think it's, it sounds a bit weird. It, it's a bit too, there's too, a little bit too much going on here. What if we make it like this? A, more, a bit simpler. Maybe something like this. So one, two, three. Let's try something like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, maybe a bit shorter. So I'm gonna drop off the last one. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. I think this is good. So let's let's um, let's just have just three. So. Uh, is it three? Yeah, three. And then we're gonna drop this by like two. Oh, we're making sure that this is the right. Oh no, even more. Three, I think. No, even more. Four. Yeah. So this is gone. This is dropped by four. Yeah. Four like this. This is gone. I think one more. No, it's good. Good. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. And that's going to be it. I guess now we could have make an eight uh, chain now, but it's okay. Oops. Ah, that sounds good.
Oh man. I'm gonna try to do the combo again. Probably should change the level a little bit so um, so it's easier to pull out those combos f for testing. But it's mm. actually it's probably also good. Oh, it's zero lives left. Oof. Ah, nice. That's probably uh, good to test the game a little bit as well. Oh, some good chains up there. Ah, 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 almost, almost. Yes, now, now it works. Oh, no, no, no. I'm guessing there's multiple ways in which this can go now. Ah, oh, <laughs> you lost it. Okay, no, but it's good. It's good. It's working. Uh, just making sure that the sound effects are the same, but yes, they are. Good. So I'm going to save this. Um, right, 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 right. So, so far things are looking good. Um, so I think this will be the end of this episode and we're going to uh, continue on the next episode where we move to our next big task, which is going to be, let me look real quick. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with levels. Um, so there's like multiple steps involved in here, um, but we're gonna got, get into those levels. I mean, we have some time here a little bit, so I'm gonna um, explain real quick what I mean with, level, with different tasks. So first we need to some kind of way to um, generate levels or save levels. Um, generate level patterns. Um, and then um, we want to have a way to um, uh, we, we have to have some kind of like game mode where it switches from one level to the next when you finish this stage. So clear stage uh, mode. Stage clearing. And let's just call it stage clearing. So there's like these two things and I think this might be like two separate videos. Let's see about that. Um, but so far, if you have any questions, if something didn't work, um, if you did this before and then looked at my solution, then let me know uh, if you did it differently. And if you did, I want to see your solution if, it's, if you think it's better. And then um, if you have any questions, of course, post in the comments as well. See you next time around, guys. Bye bye.